Okay, I've got this Python 3 flask REST boilerplate, a template. It's a REST API, and you can do things like get all records, get one, add a new record, delete a record. It's got some nose tests, unit tests. It's also hosted on Heroku, and it also has Swaggy UI. This video, I'm going to show you how I added Swaggy UI. And if you don't know what Swaggy UI is, it's a bit like Postman, but it's hosted on your API, and you can use it to test your endpoints. It shows schemas used by your endpoints, for example, ID here, this ID. It's a string. I can get a book request with the given ID. And I can try it out and type that ID in there and press execute. And there there are response codes and you can test all those things using Swaggy UI, which is quite good. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pip install flask swagger UI. Excellent. Okay, so the version I got was 3.20.9. Next, I'm going to add that to my requirements. Text. There we go. That's done. You'll need that if you use requirements.txt. Next thing, I'm going to open up my main app.py. And I'm going to import Flask Swagger UI. From Flask Swagger UI import get Swagger UI blueprint. Next one, I'm going to add a static path. Now, this static path is where I'll host my swagger.json, which describes my, IT, my API. So, there we go. Let's create a new static path. You may already have this, but I didn't, so I need to do that. And inside my static, I'm going to create a new file called swagger.json. Excellent. So here we go. I also need to add some swagger blueprint specific code. So this will be the URL of my swagger UI. This is the URL of my Swagger JSON, so I just put that there, static Swagger JSON. There's the blueprint, which uses Swagger URL, API URL, and these are configs that you can just override if you want. And then we register the blueprint. And that is pretty much all the Python code you need to do. What you also need to do is actually add something to this Swagger JSON. Just going to do this very quickly. The code will be there. It's on GitHub, and you can read each of these uh, elements to make a bit more sense of them, but they're pretty self explanatory. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it simple first, just add something basic. There we go, open API 3. So let's just try that out now and see if we get the swaggy UI and we can see at least that information. So Python app.py. Enter. Right, yeah, there's our URL. Okay, so I've opened the browser and I'm now at the root of my API. So let's just type in request. Like there's some data. Let's try Swagger now. Enter. There we go. That's the beginnings of the Swagger UI. And that's the information there that you see on that page. Let's add some more information. I'm going to add next my, my schemas, and I'm just going to put them here. Okay, so just added the components, schemas, ID, UUID, type string. There's a book request post body and a book request. Let's save that, refresh, or force refresh the Swagger UI. And now we can see the schemas being described down here. And that is basically this information here. Next, I'm going to add servers. There we go. Servers. 
Uh, it's just there's nothing special about that. Tags. Uh, it's my main tag book request. Let's see what that looks like. Force refresh. Service and that's the tag. Now next to describe the paths. The first path I'm going to describe is just get and that's get all fresh. There we go. There's our first get. Let's try it out. Execute. And there's the response. There's the data. Excellent. I'll quickly do the rest and you can read these in your own time. Okay, so I've just already had get, got post, I've got get by ID, and there we go, we've got some response codes and what they mean, and delete, save, refresh, there we go, and there they are, get, post, get, and delete. That is adding Swag UI to your API. And you can do that too. If there's anything you think that I should do differently or you'd like to add yourself, you can make a pull request to my GitHub API here and there will be a link in the description. And your little name will be here as well as a contributor. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.